CNN did an article that said that you cannot make assumptions about somebody's health based on how they look. And I found this very interesting because this it's all we do these days, just look in somebody and if they are fat and out of shape, you think, yeah, this guy's unhealthy. So I spent a few hours doing some research, I've been scrolling on Reddit to come up with and the first thing I've asked is I asked ChatGPT what it thinks about this accurately judge someone's health just by looking at them because many health conditions are not visible externally internal factors genetics lifestyle choices mental health individual variability temporary conditions and medical treatments all contribute to the complexity of health and the aspects are not always apparent from appearance alone it's important to avoid assumptions on the rely and rely on the comprehensive assessments by healthcare professionals for a more accurate understanding of someone's well-being so this is what all the big pharma companies want you to think. They want you not to trust your own eyes anymore. Okay, so if you can't trust your eyes, let's say, okay, this woman that I'm going to put on screen now, do you think she's healthy? Yes or no, you can type it in the comments. Uh, turns out she had a podcast where you, she talks about fat promotants and it's okay to be fat and then she died. Pause. Pictured here in 2016 was a senior lecturer at Massey University. Cat Paws, an academic whose research explored the impacts of fat stigma, has. A fat studies researcher, Paws's work focused on the well-being of overweight people and the effects of spoiled identities on their health. Labor MP Deborah Russell shared news of Paws's on Saturday via her Twitter account. I know very few details except that our darling friend in her sleep last night. So this same woman that passed away, she practiced that being obese is not that bad. It's not too bad for you. Now, what do, why, why do you think she passed away? I don't think your heart can handle that. That's not possible for your heart. If you live that unhealthy lifestyle for so many years, it, it's gonna... And it, it, it was not a sudden death. You can see it coming when you're that weight. That's not, that's not surprising at all. I, that's not surprising. At a very young age okay but maybe that was just one off let's chat about this guy you think he he also died at 33 a very young age so it is it is it just your eyes or are these people because they're big they're dying is it is it because of that so now I just have this one lingering question in my mind where where do these people or people like that how can they think that I am generally obese and that they should promote that how how should you promote that fat and very sexy and I am a hundred percent glorifying obesity diets are 95 percent failure rate why what makes you think that oh I'm a very obese man let me be positive in this because I can't change my own situation. I don't want to change. I don't want to put the power into change. So let me get comfortable in the position I am. What what makes them think that? I think it's... It's... it's Obesity in America. It's something we don't like talking about, but it's hard to ignore. Let's face it, we're getting fat. In fact, it's so bad, some call it an epidemic. But these are the facts. America's obesity has not doubled, it's tripled in the past 50 years. The CDC defines obesity as anyone with a body mass index over 30. In the 1960s, that was only about 14% of our population. But today, it's closer to 40%. At 33%, Texas ranks 14th when it comes to obesity in our country. But why is it so bad to be overweight? Well, it's dangerous. The census says the two primary drivers of mortality are smoking and obesity. It's doing a disservice to your parents, your wife, your husband. You're just killing yourself early. That's just suicide. So please just stop this Okay, but now there's another problem with all these articles and all these titles saying oh you can't do this and you can't do that one that stood out the the personal trainer one and tell me tell me in the comments do you guys will you take a personal trainer that is fat okay so let me let me explain you my philosophy on this 
It is not like that one meme in Avengers Endgame. I guide you to a treasure I cannot possess. This is not how that works. If you are a successful personal trainer, the first client you're gonna have is yourself. See, you are gonna test it on yourself. And if it doesn't work, why do you want to go to Jim and tell Jimmy, hey, you should eat 600 calories over your maintenance to be, look like me. And then you look like shit. So get your, don't get a fat personal trainer, get a personal trainer that's on steroids, it's jacked, because they probably know all the safety and everything. They probably know everything because they had to learn it to come get to that point. And even if they take steroids, you still have to do the work. You can't just sit on your ass and, and pff, steroids isn't, the steroids is not going to blow you up like a balloon. So that's, that's, what I, that's what I think about, about the personal trainer thing. And I think if, if you, if you see a fat person in your gym and they're actively in the gym, they're trying to lose weight, you can go help them. Don't just stare at them, go help them. Everybody's watching this video. If you go into the gym somewhere, I don't care, and you see a fat guy, just go help him, go spot him, go make a friend. Please, just help them out of the pit of despair that they're in. Thank you.